Alright, so last time we got to Eternity City. We haven't done anything in here yet, but there's a whole bunch of stuff to do. Um, we got the bicycle shop, like the, the, the underground thing. We got a gym. We're gonna see Mommy Cynthia. It's gonna be a good time, so... I don't even know what to do first, but... Maybe... What's the what's the catch to getting the bicycle? Let's check, let's check this out. I gotta get some sweet wheels. You sound sick. I just... <coughs> I woke up recently, and so my voice is... My voice does seem deep today. Hello? Is there anybody here to sell me a bicycle? I guess... Oh, I was gonna try to go in there. I was gonna say, I guess I work here now, but I guess I don't. Do you work here? Hello? Manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. They're stealing his bicycles. Just leaving all these bad boys unattended. Um, if you hold down R, you can make the Pokecatch go away. Oh my god! I had no... <laughs> I had no idea. That's actually nice. We don't really need that up there, and it kind of just dirties up the... I, I feel like the, the Pokecatch execution could have been better. Like, they don't really need to make it exactly the same. I mean, I don't know. Do, does anybody like the poke? I mean, it's cool, I guess, but I feel like they didn't need to make it so, you know, the same. Anyway, um, we got over here. I think this is, like, Professor Oak's house or something, right? Guy lives in Eterna. Hello? Nope. Nobody's home. Just imagine leaving your house just unlocked. Uh, we got the gym over that way, and the Pokemon kind of annoys me. Yeah, me too, honestly. Really playing alongside, and I didn't know the Pokedex removal thing. <laughs> well, now you know, thanks to the chat. Wanted its own face cam. It only has uh, one button for some reason. Yeah, why did they... It really only has one button. Stupid. What's going on over here? This is the underground guy's house. This guy, it's like, I love dirt. This guy right here... What are they, wait, is this even the guy? Yes, underground man. First one to have started digging out of the Grand Underground, I am. You can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. Pog. We now have an explorer kit. Um, everybody says this is like the best part of this game, so I'm excited to check it out. Visit the old underground. I feel like the underground wasn't as utilized as it should have been back in the old days. I played it quite a bit, but... Oh, he's gonna show us right now. Oh, God. He's like, we're just gonna hop right on underground. First, go to the grand underground. Go underground is quite easy. Simply use your explorer kit. It can be used indoor. It can't be used indoors or in a cave. Well, shoot dang. It seems like a cave would be the best, best place to do it, but... Damn, this guy's really controlling my menu. Hello? Okay, and we're in. I don't get a hard hat, though, because we disregard safety in this household. This is your first time here. Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. This is a network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing down in this expanse of a place? That's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can div dig up fossils in treasure, or you can make your own secret base. Talk to the underground man in Eternity City to learn more. Why is the way back to the surface? Remember. Surface. Remember. Why? After you go now, I'll see ya. Alright, Rourke just, uh, <laughs> just yeets himself out of here. Okay. Uh, and they basically just let us loose. This is sick. We have the map over there. The, the chat is directly over it. Um, but so, like, spins into oblivion. Well, you count underground as an encounter? I guess, I don't know how I'm gonna really get, make that work. Because I know I don't even know where you get Pokemon down here or how this even works at all. But, so I guess we just be, like, running around. We can, like, get other people to play in here with us. Um, it's like other rooms. I know that there's there's Pokemon down here, right? Oh, yep, there is. Yo, there's a Murkrow. Oh shit, Patrice is after me. Oh god, they chasing after me. How are we gonna do this for a Nuzlocke encounter, boys? I think that the Pokemon down here actually have a pretty difficult catch rate compared to normal ordinary. Po oh my god, there's an Absol right here. Yo. I want this Absol. I want the Murkrow badly, but what do I do, boys? I think I have to get Absol. They have, so apparently, yeah, they come with, like, egg moves and probably hidden abilities down here. Um, this is actually sick. I like this. I I think what we're going to do, we're going to take one po- Oh, God. If, if anything encounters me, I guess I won't. I'll have to go th with that. Um, but we'll take one Pokemon down here to count for the Nuzlocke. And since I can see him, I'm going to freaking choose and just run- <laughs> Just get ambushed by this Absol. So, uh, what's up, my dude? I really wish that the overworld sprites for the Pokemon here could, like, show if they're shiny. I don't think that's the case, but let's see if we can catch this Absol. I don't know if I even have very many Pokeballs. Oh, God. It's level 17, so it's actually kind of scary. Uh oh Well, let's weaken this bad boy. Double team. Man. Saw you tweet your stream and so wanted to stop by. Also got lucky and got a shiny in that area in the first day. Dude, that's amazing. Congrats on your shiny. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Samantha never gets shinies, but soon she will. 
you may be able to catch level 17. We're sure gonna try, because I would love to have Absol on my team, because that's actually sick. Absol is our favorite emo lad, so... Let's try to weaken it. Oh, it has double edge. Oh. Alright. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Damn it! My first death was really... <laughs> Oh man, kicks. My poor sweet kicks. God damn it. <laughs> That's annoying. It actually kind of blows that it has double edge, because now I'm probably not going to be able to catch the guy. He's going to kill himself. Dude, what the hell? Yes, that little weasel did just piss on that Absol for the water gun, but that's besides the point because he's fucking dead now. Need to put something to fight it that's also level 17 or higher. It's almost impossible to catch. Okay, well, Reese's Puff's level 19 and also resists. So I'm just going to start hucking some balls here. I only have one great ball. <laughs> oh god. Um, I do have 20 Pokeballs and some net balls and some heal balls and stuff, so we can try this. I'm gonna Pokeball until it like at least double edges itself to a lower range. I don't know. Absol does have a very low catch rate, so. So that happened. A year and a half high YouTube. Um let's just proceed to throw some Pokeballs here. Actually, I could weaken it more with Geodude. It's not going to do a lot of damage to itself with double edge to Geodude, so let's see what happens here. Um, oh, not bad. No, 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 no. We're going to... I'm going to use Smackdown once. Hey, that guy. Thank you very much. 44 ready months? To drop that mix tape. Hot damn. <laughs> Mixtape dropping soon. Damn it, I kind of made a mistake here trying to catch this Absol. This is... I'm getting absolute pwnaged here. Um, critical hit, of course. Nice. How much is this SmackDown gonna do? I may have fucked up. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. We've got it into red. If it double edges itself, it's it's gonna die. Um, God. Alright. Great ball. We only have one of you. This is our chance. Please. I really feel like this is probably not gonna work. And I would've just- I just lost kicks for nothing. Come on, here we go. Oh. Use no- don't use double edge. Knockoff, perfect. Actually, shit. This thing's gonna kill something else too. This is not good. I'm risking it all for this Absol out here. Orenberry was actually kind of nice there. Thank you. Um, okay, so is Heal Ball the same catch rate as just Pokeballs? I feel like I'm kind of fucked here. I done played myself, but I'm just gonna try Heal Ball. Come on, Heal Ball. Here we go. I should. I really wish. I don't have any Pokemon with status abilities. But yes. Yes. Fuck. No! Damn it! I'm upset. <sighs> oh god, and this Murkrow just ambushes me immediately. I, uh, I probably should have not tried to catch a Pokemon that has double edge. That, you know was an L on my end. And damn it, I couldn't run from this Murkrow. God, I gotta get the hell out of this place. This place is dangerous. You guys said you like the underground? Good God. The disaster Pokemon being true to its name. Truly. Chalk up the L on that one, because Absol fucked me. Too busy being all emo and shit? Absolutely. The backgrounds look really nice. The backgrounds do look great in this game. There's certain areas where the backgrounds don't really make sense, but other than that, there's a lot of really good ones. Um, so I gotta basically get the hell out of here. We press Y, and we go up. So, that was upsetting. My first Minecraft experience has resulted in death. <laughs> I see that you've gone underground. Well done. Take this as a reward. You obtained a red sphere S. Small red sphere, and then a blue, and a green. Apparently some Pokemon on the under underground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a new Pokemon is a hundred times more fun when it's a rare one. Well, cool. Your road to being a Spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. Nice. So, I think that we can... We could probably spend, like, all day down in the underground. We can, like, even put in a code so you guys can play with me and stuff, but... Um, so, we have our first death, ladies and gentlemen, and it was from a wild Pokemon. Also, look at this... Look at this box decoration, or wallpaper. I like it. Alright, so let's create our death box, I guess. You hate to see it. But sometimes, it, it, do, it do be like that. Alright, kicks. We're gonna put you right here in this nice little meadow. This is basically Pokemon Heaven. He is dead. And he's just gonna chill here by this lake for all the rest of eternity. So, 
That's annoying. Uh, actually, what I can do is I can grab somebody else now. Look at that. We have a free free party slot. Who do I even who do I bring? I think we bring back Raisin Brand. Honestly, my guy Raisin Brand, or do I bring Wormpole? Probably a better option. I think we're I think I think we're bringing Raisin Brand in. I think that this little feller is is overdue to come back on the squad just because nobody uses Cricketune, right? I will be your father now. Don't worry. Let's go do some spelunking. Ooh. What is this? There's Gastrodon down here. Dude, these areas are sick. This is just like a Gastrodon farm. Look at this. I really don't want to heck with any of you guys. I didn't bring my salt. Um, oops, I actually ran into that. That Bidoof is freaking blending in. <laughs> hey, who the hell's that? Oh, God. Oh, shit. There's hella guys out here. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I want to find... Guys, hold on. If I hit R... Um, ooh. <laughs> ooh, I like that. Using my freaking sonar to... Ooh, we found a sparkle. Wall is bulging slightly. Pause. We did not just examine that bulge. <laughs> There's a note tucked inside the explorer kit. Digging for fossils. Put a sledgehammer and pickaxe in your explorer kit. Use them and you'll be able to dig all, all of sorts of stuff from the walls. Before the wall comes tumbling down, that is. I'm sure you can do it. Good luck. Okay, so something pinged the wall. Oh, fuck. I didn't see the pinks. Oh. Oh, God. There's other people out here. Hey, wait, I, I found something. Hold on, I have to. Oh God, everybody's digging my everybody's digging my stuff. Hey, what is this? Hold up. Nice. I got something, boys. I got something. Okay, so there's a there's a there's a green guy over here. What is this? Okay, I like it. No fossil or anything, but I got like a pixie plate or something like that. I don't know what. Is that all the stuff? Is, is it? Is this it? I don't want to like do it too much because I might hack the wall up. Oh yeah, you can see the so the crack up at the top shows you how much progress you've made in terms of basically hacking up the whole wall. So if you get all the way down there, ooh, wait, there's a sunstone. Pog, free sunstone, boys. I think. Wait, is that a sunstone? <laughs> I don't know what that. It's probably not a sunstone actually. Um, now do I get the stuff or like who gets the stuff? I got a green sphere S, a blue sphere S, and a sunstone. I was right. Okay. Wait, I didn't get the other thing. Oh wait, no, a pretty stone box. Hello? 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 What is this? My god, I got a toga kiss. Wait, no, he's just a statue. <laughs> he's a rock. It's not a boulder, he's a rock. We gotta, I got, uh, that's probably a pretty cool one. Sick, I, I think you can put those in like your bases or something. I don't know. I like it though. Sick. What the hell is this on the, oh, it's just the light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so apparently, yeah. So we can see on the map that there's stuff. So like, what's this one down here? If I wait, 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 what's in here? Hello? It's Tony's secret base. Who's Tony? Hey, yo, Tony. What's good? I'm up in your base. Should have locked your door. Your door. I'm, oh my God! This guy's got statues for days. I thought I was cool with my one Togekiss one. So. I assume that there's certain rarities. So like this guy, he got like green haunch crow and and whiskash. There's like a big ol' Rhyperior. This is pretty sick. So secret bases are always something in Pokemon that I felt like they could have made fun. And I think that they've kind of done it as like, you can do some sweet decorating. I mean, this guy, you know, Tony's just laid out his stuff. He flexing. Oh, shit. Statue effect, turn effect on. Uh, what does that mean? Hello? My guy was stretching just there, and I thought he was doing something. So, the statue effect is on. Um, so, they're not doing anything. What, what does this mean? Statue... Oh, wait. I can read about it. <laughs> it slightly raises the appearance rate of dark-type Pokemon. Interesting. But, like, does that only work... Like, does that now work for... Like, is there dark-type Pokemon up in this guy's base? Or what, what does that work for? I don't know. So, I guess maybe now turning that on means that in the underground, I'll have a higher chance of encountering dark type Pokemon or something I don't know but that's pretty cool I like it anyway what's um what's down this way for the underground Pokemon areas I guess there's gonna be hella dark types now but it doesn't look like it over here hello just some Psyducks I really wish that if you found a shiny it would show their overworld shinies but I do not think that is the case but still really cool regardless um, I'm just getting lost down here boys I'll tell you what is there anything else that I can like play down here like I thought there was capture the flag or something. Put on my hard hat, let's do some digging. 
Sometimes you gotta dig the bulge, boys. Let that be a lesson to you. So we're gonna start off with the big mallet. Just test the waters over this way. What the hell does that sound? Why does it sound different now? Oh, it's because there's someone else digging. Oh, God. There's hella people digging here. Damn, you can really do some serious damage with a lot of people. We could do some... We could do some speed digging out here, boys. Except we're gonna break the wall. Ooh, what is this? Hold up, what is this? What is this? It's another one of them loot boxes. I want this. I think you guys are gonna break the damn wall before I get it. Did I, did I get it? Alright, so let's just break this baby up now. Alright. Then we got some stuff. The wall has collapsed. That seems dangerous to be under this in this cave. You got a blue sphere ass. Sam's got some jingle bells. She's <laughs> she's putting up Christmas direction. Uh, direct. Christmas direction. Christmas direction. She's like, you go ahead, you go straight, and then hang a left, and then you find Christmas. So she's putting up some Christmas directions. Anyway, we got a blue sphere S and, and hold on, and a pretty stone box. Santa's here. What did I get this time, boys? What do we got this time? Ooh. Star Raptor statue. I'm finding some sick ones. I feel like that's... I mean, it's not the green, cool colored ones, but that's pretty neat. Hey. Got any small spheres? If you do, I'll trade you something. I think so. Um, ooh. Fling. Recycle. Thunder Wave. Sleep Talk. Swagger. Ooh. Looks like you don't have enough spheres. Dang it, man. Cost... Damn, it cost 18 for that, John? Shit. Well, that's actually a really cool way to get... Since TMs aren't reusable in this, I guess you kind of just gotta, like, work for them, which... I kind of like that. That's actually interesting. <gasps> Lickitung in here! Sick! I love Lickitung. I also love his shiny. He's lemon-colored. A.K.A. yellow. And gross. Gross! I don't like your animation, though, guy. That was kind of nasty. Let me get a flip. Ooh, shit! He's level 28. Oh, we got away. That is why I don't want to encounter things in here. Level 20, <laughs> level 28 Lickitung about licked my ass. Pause. What was that whistle? Oh, it was the Diglett thing? Oh, nice. Take that. I did, but I had to do more. I had to do some more. Sam doesn't want me to dig anymore, guys. Alright. Alright. 40 out of 40 digs is the sound, yeah? Go with this stone box, what we got? What do we got? What's it gonna be? Ooh! Sick Drapion. They really shouldn't put those shiny things next to it, man. Listen, guy. You give me what I'm here for, alright? Yeah, I see you're able to use your radar effectively. Well done indeed. Here's your reward. All right, so why wouldn't you just tell me that before? I got a digger drill. What does this do? Dig in the walls of the underground to unearth hidden things. Search for your shiny bag. Spheres or special gems. What should I assign, assign you next? Next up is your secret base. That's right. I'll teach you how to make your own secret base. Nice. All you need is the digger drill I gave you earlier. Simply go to the underground and use the digger drill wherever you like. Instantly create your very own secret base. Next your assignment is make a secret base. Alright. We're making a base right now, boys. I think I'm going to do it um, right here. I'd like to use the digger drill to make a secret base. I sure would. Nice. Freaking sweet. It's your secret base. Would you like to go in? Absolutely. And uh, our work here is done. I now have a super cool room. So we have this orb. Um, place a statue. I guess all I really have is statues. So let's take a look at my statue list. I've got all these here statues. Now, I know what you're thinking. Damn, those are some pretty sweet looking statues. And you would be correct. I want to put Carnivine for sure. I'm going to put him right over here. Uh, I guess I'll just put you there. Wait, he's turned to the wall. It's hard to tell which way guy's facing. I literally still can't tell. All right. Um, I'll go back and nice. Um, I, I made him facing the wrong way still. These are my current statues. I mean, I have more, but these are the ones I wanted to do. So what I can do here is I can go for the statue effect, and I can be like, slightly raise the appearance rate of grass-type Pokemon. Which is kind of a... Kind of not a great effect, but that's my base. It's not much. There's certainly, you know, not a whole lot to it, but I think it's pretty neat. That was exciting stuff. I, um... I do believe now we should probably get back to freaking business, okay? 
Raise Brand needs a heal, and then we can actually go get a new encounter over there to the right. You already have Jupiter's Scun Tank coming up. Oh! Boys, it's her. Damn, look at that fit, Cynthia. Is it a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. I sure am. What's your name? I love how she has question marks, as if we don't know you freaking Cynthia. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Okay. According to the myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help you on your way. Obtained not TM93s. I don't remember what she gives us, but thanks, Mommy. Cut. Oh, it is cut. Yeah. Because we need that to get to um, the, the place, the galactic place. It's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? The luck be with you, young trainer. So we need to go into... We're supposed to go in here first before we do the gym, I believe. Um... So here we have the Team Galactic Eternity building. We want your Pokemon. <laughs> I love how they just... Oh, never mind. We did this after, obviously, because we don't have Cut. Um, we don't have the ability to use Cut yet. So over here we've got the super cool statue. I believe there was some fact about, like, in the old games, the sprite of this statue could have, like, like was basically both. Like, it was both Dialga and Palkia. Text is barely legible and is faded completely in places. Interesting. So pretty cool statue. What do we got over here? There's a Draco play hidden behind it. I should go grab that. Hello? Eterna came uh, to be long ago in honor of ancient Pokemon. Though things may have changed, what is important has not. I hope it remains that way forevermore. Have you seen the Pokemon statue? When I was a wee child, it used to be the centerpiece of many festivals. I have. I just admired that bad boy. We'll go get the Draco plate. Hello? It's right behind it. Yep. So Draco plate behind it boosts the power of dragon moves. Unfortunately, obviously, we don't have any dragon moves at the moment. There's a Pokeball there I want, but I cannot get yet. But, over this way, we have a whole new route. Um, I'm sure it's just going to be freaking Geodudes, because Geodudes are all you find in this game, apparently. But, let's get ourselves a new encounter, shall we, boys? Encounter time! Give me a Metatite, give me a Bronzor, or give me death. Alright, Metatite. Little onion head fella. That's, that's nice. I like him. It's an interesting... Uh, interesting psychic type. I actually should probably go get some more Pokeballs. I realize I should just get some Great Balls, but let's um, let's try a Pokeball. Why not? This usually works. Probably not going to this time. It did not. I didn't mean- I've said it right there and it fell. I gotta weaken you. Come on, Metatite. Here we go, Metatite. We've done it! We've done it! Alright. New Mon on the squad. Love to see it. It meditates in order to build up its mental energy. It's said to eat just one berry a day. <laughs> he has a very good discipline. Alright. What cereal do we name Metatite after, boys? Special K the Metatite. That's... That's our dude. Um, should we add him to the party? Or... Probably not. Do we hold off? I think we hold off for now. Maybe, actually... We'll replace... We'll replace Geodude for now. Reese's Puff... You're going in the box. Oops, all berries. Oops, all berries. Name him Kicks. We already have Kicks. But he was he dead. I, I literally just killed Kicks. Rip. Rest in peace. Okay, so this route would be looking cool except for the gross blur. God, I hate the blur so much. Um, there's a hiker here who Cricketune's not going to have a good time with. Um, and honestly, really... Only Machop enjoys this. Still waiting for honey bunches of oats. Speaking of honey, I need to go back to that honey tree and recover, or get what, see what Pokemon I got from there. It's probably just something lame, but I did put honey on a tree. Hiker in his tight pants over here. You guessed it, just a Geodude. Super cool, it's back to the cool battle environment though. Which is fun. Hold on, I got my water. Onyx. Very large boy. Only level 15. Questionable levels here, game. Questionable levels. I don't know if I don't know if Pincer is a possibility for the trees. That's a good question. I know that Pincer is Pincer in Diamond or is Pincer in Pearl? Yeah, Munchlax is a good one as well. Get hacked, Hiker Lewis, you freaking buffoon. The golden 00001 Munchlax. Okay, so what's actually pretty cool is that we get another encounter right here. Uh, but what's not as cool is that 
this is going to be our Mount Cornet encounter, and we're going to come to Mount Cornet like eight different other times, and I'm going to think it's a new encounter, but it's not going to be. Um, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> Let's hold off on the encounter for a sec, because I do want to go over this way. Because we can smash that. And then I think there's just like a trainer and an item back there. Let's see what we've got. Hello, bird keeper guy. What should I put in front? I don't think we've seen any bird keepers yet either, have we? We put Lucky Charms in front. So level cap is... Did, so, did we say level cap's 24 for the gym? I think we'll be okay. Bird Keeper Alexandra got some crazy hair. And a Hoot Hoot. Hey, we haven't seen a Hooters yet. Lady just pulls out her Hooters. And we're gonna kill it. I know you can do it, Lucky Charms. I know it's early. I really think the game is up there in Heart Gold, Soul Silver in terms of goaded remakes. Really? That's a bold... That's, that's pretty bold, Cotton. Heart Gold, Soul Silver is pretty great. But this is good as well. If they, if they left in the battle timer, or they got rid of the battle timer, God... This would be a perfect game. I think we'll just get our, that encounter now just to have it. I don't know, I don't think there's really anything too cool in Mount Cornet, but we're gonna try to see what we can find. I literally thought that like this was the end of the road and this was a higher lid ledge, but this is literally just the shadow. <laughs> Cleffa. Okay, I think Cleffa would actually be our best our best encounter. Because all my homies love Clefable. So please, Mount Cornet, provide me with a Cleffa right now. I think it can be done. We'll smash this. We'll grab this item. I don't think we can get... We can't uh, go too far in this place yet because we still have some serious stuff to do. Ooh, Strength Rock over there. So yeah, we literally can't go any farther until we get Strength. But first encounter in this place is another Meditite. Uh -huh. Oh, hey! That is, here's a fun fact. So you see how my character just looked at this Zubat before it came up? That is a new feature where that basically shows that I believe this Zubat has two or more um, perfect IVs. That's a good way of spotting that you just found a good Pokemon. So um, it's pretty easy to notice when that happens because ordinarily your, your guy doesn't look at the Pokemon like that. So this Zubat could be a very good Zubat. Um, and technically, I could catch it and use it as my encounter because we could just go over Dupe's Claws. But I think I'm just going to skip it. We're, I, we'll find more. We'll find more. But I was going to mention that earlier, but I'm glad that actually happened because now I, I got to show you guys. So, fun fact. No! <laughs> it was the Jingling! Damn it. Uh, you little bastard. All my homies hate Jingling. These are annoying to evolve. Pokeball... Freaking go! Cleffa is 25% in the morning and 5% the rest of the time. Man, there was no chance for a Cleffa. Butners, it's all good. I'll find my own. Thank you, though, buddy. But no, wait! I <laughs> accidentally used Pound. I meant to throw a Pokeball there. I meant to hit X. Instead, I just mashed A. And I killed it. That, that's actually fine. It's just a, it's just a chingling. Who gives a heck? Is it time? Is it time to go in here? Captain Crunch. Go. Actually, Raisin Brand goes in front. I'm sad my man Lamar Jackson not playing today. F. Since you have a Zubat and a Geodude, you're guaranteed either Onyx or Gibble in the Wayward Cave. Sick. I really hope it's Gibble and not Onyx. Man. All right. Hey, why are you right in the front here? Hello? At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back, good luck. So, yeah, every trainer here is required, which is fine. I guess we kind of need the grinding anyway. Ooh, look at this place. Beautiful. Beautiful little indoor forest they've got here. Um, so we're just going to do some exploring. I guess we just got to find all the trainers, I guess is the, the thing. So this is where they're supposed to be. But, uh, why are those trees imposters? Oh, there's a person. How'd you know where to find me? Let's have our battle. A little, little hide-and-seek game. Love to see it. Last Caroline. Sweet Caroline. About to eat your berries with my cricket tune. Gardenia is mommy. Cynthia is. See you later, little Cherubi. 
I like I like Cherubi. That would be a good one to get. I think you can get them on honey trees, right? Rosalia. See you later, little flower. Lucky Charms to 21. Did we say the level cap was 24? I think it was. I just want to check, like, again. I'm trying to learn Faint, which is kind of a booty move. 30 power. Attack hits the target using a move such as Protect or Detect. Uh, detect uh, also lifts the effects of these moves. No thanks. Oh, 22 is level cap. Oh, God. We are close. Shit. I was hoping it was 24. Hmm. The XP share has come to fuck me once again, boys. I cannot let the two mods that I really need get level over leveled here, so <sighs> once we get to 22, I guess I'll just um I guess I'll just box those guys. I didn't realize that uh, Gardenia had such a strong following. Where can I go in here? I really feel like I've gone into like the two freaking places that I could, but is there really not someone over here? We've done it. A grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. Let me guess. You're just gonna have like a freaking Roselia. Ooh, she's like glowing. Alright, Jenna. You got Badoo. Jenna's will tell you the order as you beat them. Oh, nice. Alright, Badoo. Raisin Brand loves buds. My guy stays smoking the buds. Do a lot of good wine whip. Wine whip? This is why we don't, all my homies hate Cricket too. I'm struggling against this buddy here. <laughs> obviously a poison type. What do you mean, obviously? He's literally just a freaking bud. What's poison about him? Brand 19. Why would the minion trainers have level 13? If the, the chip leader has 22, I just don't... I just don't understand. Make it make sense, damn it. Okay, Pebbles are 21. We're getting dangerously close to 22 on people here. Two more trainers to go. Oh my god, three Badoos. Fun. What is an EU? It's the sequel to the Wii U. You know, the game console. I keep a pretty stocked bag around here. Even when you try to conceal it, you can't hide the aroma of flowers. Them things be smelling. Hey, look at this lady has a Turtwig. Nice. Level 17 Twig. Okay, that's actually, see? That is a worthy opponent for my Cricket Tomb. Can you struggle bug on? Twice. <laughs> and just a tackle. It's always fun seeing other trainers with, um, with the starter Pokemon. It's kind of neat. It's like, hey, did you get that from Professor 2? Or, or what? Where did you find this thing? They don't exist in the wild, so. You freaking hacker. Angela! Okay, so there's one more trainer, and then we get to battle the gym leader. Very nice. Your next opponent is beside four flowers. Four flowers, you say? Um, here's two flowers. Oh, here's some flowers. There they are! Alright. The hints are helpful. <laughs> Giggle, you found me. Of course I'll battle you. What a fun little gym maze. They're like, we just play hide-and-seek in here among the flowers. We just have a good time. Beauty Lindsay. She's down here flexing with all the jewelry. Damn, she iced out. Roselia about to get roasted and toasted, though. We love Monterno. He's just a chill little guy. I like all the Sinnoh starters. It's hard for me to choose one. It's really inconvenient to then have to, like, want to grind up Metatite, or Metatite because I'd have to, like, box everybody else. You know? stupid because I can't let them get higher in level for the gym leader I literally have to go out like just with that thing or what other different Pokemon because that you can't toggle the exp share which is dumb I maintain it's dumb I mean honestly for casual players it's actually nice but like why not just give us the option to turn it off and on I don't know I don't get it anyway we heal and then we're going back to the gym leader and it's time all right so I don't remember the team that homegirls got but Maybe I should actually go raise raisin brand. You know, let's actually do that. Let's uh let's let's level cap. Everybody's 21 except for Raisin Brand's 19. If I go grind up Raisin Brand a little bit, everybody else will get to 22 and we'll be good. That was underrated snack, rehydrated raisin. <laughs> that sounds just like a grape with extra steps. Alright. 
The squad is ready to go. Raisin Bran, he's got his mustache looking proper and ready to go destroy. And uh, let's let's get going. We've done all the trainers in here. We just run straight on in. What's happening? I like your little painted wall. Make it look like it's daytime, like a nice, beautiful day in here. You kept me waiting. I'm Eternus, Gym Leader, Gardenia, the Grass-type Master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. Thanks. I like your headband, lady. Anyway, let's get it. She do got a pretty fire fit on. Um, how many mons you got? Alright, three mons. Okay. Highest is going to be 22. Leads off with Cherubi. This is perfect food for Cricketoon. His favorite afternoon snack is a good old juicy Cherubi. So we're just going to go ahead and struggle bug on you. And uh, I love how Cricketoon's existence thus far has just been like struggling. Poor guy. The speed drop, or the special attack drop, nice. And <laughs> it grows. They're a large boy. Vital, thank you for the 13 months. Alright. All right, so one more struggle bug, and easy. Like, like why? Ruby, really? Come on now. Come on now, garden lady. Bam, bam, like it chimes at 22. Okay, so... Everybody's pretty much ready to go now. The highest is 22, I mean... Don't really need to level cap everybody to what they you know, need to be at, but whatever. Anyway, we get Force Palm here on Monferno, which, or, uh, not Monferno, on Metatite. Nice. Um, so let's just get rid of Endure. Don't really need to tech. Sometimes it's nice to have a good protect. Never say no to protection. We'll use him for, get some Force Palm. Nice. Special K will probably not be using this gem. He's the lowest one. Next is a Turtwig. Guess what? Cricketune is truly being able to shine right now. It actually worked out. That Weasel died. Honestly, I probably would have switched Weasel with you anyway, because it's a grass gym, but... We'd love to see my guy putting in work. Who else is using a Cricket Tune? If you're actually... If you're also using a Cricket Tune... You're the GOAT. Drop 38k slow poke tails, you better not lose a mod. <laughs> Alright, I think we're probably... I think we're probably gonna be safe. I mean, I have... I have a Fire Monkey. Turtwig goes down. Why couldn't you have a Grottle? I really don't really even remember... Gardenia's team, to be honest. Um, oh, she's getting serious now. It's not the end yet. It's the Roserade. So, this is the scariest mod, of course. Being on set mode sucks because I can't really hard switch into Monferno here. Um, I'm going to go for a struggle bug just to see what this thing's going to do. This is actually our first time seeing Roselia. It goes for the Grass Knot. Or, or Roserade. That does a lot. Damn. Brigatoon says, freaking ouch. That doesn't do much either, but we do get the uh, we get the drop, so that's nice. Drop your special attack, which is perfect. Now we go right on into pebbles. And we teach you a lesson you will not soon forget. About hacking with my cricket. And so it just goes... What are you going to name your weasel? Your weasel? Nami. Nami? After League of Legends. The League of Legends. Alright, so this Roserade, you know, literally can't touch me. We got a, we got a special attack drop on it. it doesn't have Sludge Bomb at this point, as it just goes for a Grass Knot on a Fire-type. Does get me to half, though, so this thing's actually kind of scary, but guess what? Guess what flowers don't like? Fire. And wow, that actually <laughs> didn't do as much as I was expecting. Oh god. And they have a berry. Mm, okay, this Rose Raid's actually kind of a threat. Why is Rose Raid such a good mod? Oh, it's because of the Reflect. I literally saw the Reflect happen, and then just immediately forgot. Alright, well. Now you're useless without that. Goes for the Petal Blizzard. Pebble says, did you t did you do something to me? I, I didn't feel that. Hello? Now the Flame Wheel does take care of the Roserade. And he did. Alright. So that was not very difficult at all. I mean, my team was pretty set up for that. I had Cricket Tune, freaking Monferno, and also a uh, Star Avia, so <laughs> we're pretty much fine. And uh, Raisin Brand 22, trying to get Focus Energy. Um, I accidentally said yes, but I'm going to go ahead and just say no. Easy points. Special K to 18. Very good. That wasn't too bad at all. Amazing. Gives us a little clap, 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 roo. Thank you. Makes me feel great. Might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so so good? I guess that measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Proudly. Yes. Look at that dusty-ass badge. I really have to shine that thing. I haven't played not docked yet, so... Um, Alright, you received the Forest Badge. We've done it! With the Forest Badge, the hidden move cut will be available from your Poketch. 
Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you receive in trades will pay you up to level 30. And also now we can just go into the Galactic Headquarters. Because there is a freaking bush in the way. Imagine having to plant a bush every time you go into your place. You're like, oh, I, I cut down the bush to get inside. I have to plant another one. Heavier the Pokemon and more damage than the cost. So we got Grass Knot, which is actually a pretty poggers grass move. I'd love to see it. Now we can go up to this and we can be like, hey, random Bidoof, help me out here. <laughs> Wild Bidoof helped out. It's super nice not having to teach somebody cut, though. I will say that quality of life change is very nice. Also, there's um, there's something I can do over here. Oh, we can cut this down. There's th Finally, we can get to this freaking hidden item. Or not you know, super hidden, but I seen it. And now we get Thief. Teach my Pokemon to steal some stuff. Can I just pay for a signed card? <laughs> One million dollars. All right, so we go in here then, and um, what's poppin', guys? Team Galactic isn't interested in the world. Our gra our gaze is beyond the stars. Okay. Welcome to the Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? You're not? Then kindly get off our property. <laughs> We have to bring the uh, bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop manager. We know the cycle shop manager is in here, so we're basically trying to save our guy. Sorry, dearie. Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. I wasn't trying to sign up. I'm just trying to whip some ass in here. Freaking mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Zubat. Um, it's an interesting matchup for for our little guy, Special K here. We do have we're psychic type, you know. We get we have confusion as well, and only level 14, so. Nothing like just battling a level 22 and then coming into a place and then just being like, oh, back to, back to 14. That's fun. Do you even have wing attacker? I don't think this thing even does anything flying yet. Just gonna like astonish me. Or hit itself in confusion. Yes. All right. First battle with this fellow. Great success. Great success. Success. Special K. Next is a glam meow. Perfect. It's actually a great time to be using this meta type. Glam meow, we got to force my palm upon you. This is this is what happens when you pet the kitty too too uh too powerfully. He dies. We are gathering gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. My meddling will not be tolerated. What are you typing away over there, Anthony? Uh. Freaking worm pull. I can't believe these guys still have worm pulls. You know you can evolve this thing, right? Are adults the only ones to join criminal organizations? Probably. Why does it look like Metatite's wearing a diaper? I mentioned that earlier as well. He do got a diaper on. Don't need to get me banned again. Okay, one more of these. Wormple dead. Annoying to be poisoned though. You really, really wish you wouldn't do that to me. Leaf green copy. Oh, she has her leaf green copy. How mm. much? How much can I get? Probably at least 10k. Yeah, I would just keep it. I have fire red somewhere in my Game Boy. I lost a lot of my games. Like, I don't know where my heart gold soul silver is. I know where my platinum and pearl is, though. I have it right here on my desk. Look at those epic DSs. Alright, we head upstairs and let's go see if we can find our bicycle friend in here. Hello? Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. Nice. These guys are just working away. Even they're all just staring at wallpapers. I see I, I see you guys. Don't think I don't know what you're doing here. Conducting research on forms of energy. You want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon. Cool. Nice. We'll go up this way. Man, who do they, who do they put to work over here? They're like, you must not have any interaction with other people if you work here. Uh, why thank you? We love when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. Real, real funny. Real funny. Donate my Pokemon. Yeah, dude, I don't think I've hit myself with confusion once yet. It's amazing. Jalen Hurts does have 20 points already, so really nice. Alright. Sakun so dead. And... Grunt defeated. Do we have... What's the... Is there a scary boss battle up here? And I say scary meaning like... Still really easy to beat, but like, you know. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> this is my favorite guy. This is this is the best guy. What's up, scientists? Our mission is to implement our operations without question. I always love how there's evil scientists, you know? So yeah, I think we do have to battle Jupiter up here. 
scientist Trayvon has a cadabra. Ooh. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. Guy's got a cadabra. Reflect. Oh damn. This guy's playing the long game on us, boys. This guy's playing the long game here. Struggle bug that ass. Still does a lot. Nice easy to it kill here. And we dropped your special attack too, so dude, honestly. I'm digging this cricket tomb. Why you go for Kinesis? Honestly, if everybody who used a Kadabra would just attack every time, they'd be way harder to fight against. But no. They're like, I don't know, do like a something that is useless. This won't go unpunished. Yeah, that guy actually kinda scary. I'm a little threatened by that guy. Guy has a threatening aura. Anyway, continuing up the stairs, we've got Nice little, uh, little, little boombox situation. Hey, there's our guy. What's up, homie? Can I get a bicycle? What is it with this Team Galactic? Why do they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Wait, is that even, is that, that's gotta be the guy. Um, so here we have you, and I think we're probably okay to just go for it, I guess? What's up? Eh? Do you want something? Yeah, a bicycle. But this is the easiest way to get it, so. <laughs> Alright, so boss Galactic fight. Um, we should be okay here, I, I hope. Uh, we just have two Pokemon, which means they're probably going to be pretty high level. I'm going to say like 20. Got a Zubat, who might actually finally be scary for my little diaper homie to fight against, because you're going to have like a wing attack or something. I guess we'll test it out. You're level 18, so I'm 19. It's fine. We're going to go for the confusion and hopefully get the confusion. Does exactly half. Very nice. And it's just supersonics. Every Zubat ever is like attack. No, no, no. Supersonic. There's no flying moves. Imagine having wings and not having any flying moves. Well, we're just gonna break through our confusion here and call it a day. Yes! Still, I'm undefeated on confusion. Um, and that gets minimal, minimum damage so it doesn't even kill. What the hell? And one more confusion. Just don't hit yourself here, buddy. You can do this. We can no longer escape, so you're stuck here. And we've done it. Nice. Metatite is the GOAT. The greatest of all time. I actually really do like the Metatite line. I, I don't use it often, so I'm ex excited to be using it. Lucky Charms gets some levels there. Next is the Skun Tank. So here is the threat. Um, poison Dark type. Very interesting fella. We should probably... I'm going to go into Captain Crunch and Intimidate it. I don't have really anything super effective on this guy, so... Captain Crunch has not been getting a lot of use lately, so we'll bring out this fella. Could have gotten a Luxio as well, but it's fine. Intimidate. I realize the chat's right over that, but whatever. Poison gas? No! Not the gas! He farted on me and I'm poisoned. Man. Um. I guess we just wing attack. There was an area where I could get, um. Pluck. I realized in like Fl Floroma Town that I probably should have gotten. <gasps> flamethrower! Damn, bro! This thing really comes with Flamethrower. Oh god, I already have to switch. Okay, the Skun Take is actually a threat. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little scared. Flamethrower, huh? I mean, it uses special moves mostly, so the Intimidate didn't really matter. Um, here we go, Lucky Charms! Does anyone wonder why Pixar moms are so thick? This is why we love Twitch chat. Alright, so this gun tank's looking good and scared. Um, it does go for the flamethrower again. Why does gun tank get flamethrower? How does this even work? Oh my god, this is a lot. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna have to use like my whole squad here to- <laughs> Oh my god, that does nothing to- No, this gun tank is scary! <laughs> I need a ground mo- I need a ground mo- I actually probably should have um, grabbed Geodude. That would've been nice. I don't have a ground move on that thing either actually, but you know. Um, so I'm poisoned, and after this next poison damage, we still should be okay. This is rather painful, actually. I should definitely just go into pebbles. If this thing's just gonna be keep using flamethrower every time... Do I just hard switch into pebbles here? I've already gotten some damage off that. Alright, we're switching into pebbles. Damn, we're using the whole freaking cavalry here. Here we go, boys. Pebbles has got it. Does flame throw pretty well. Okay. Very good. The flame wheel should be helpful here. We're level 23 on this thing, so we're alright. Um, go, flame wheel. Okay. Damn, it's still not a 2 hit kill, and he has the parry. 
Christ, this thing is a threat. Much harder than the Perugly that Mars has. Okay, the, at least the Citrus Berry's gone now, and we voided the attack, nice. That poison actually would've been pretty bad. I believe I have an antidote, but we still haven't seen this thing even use a damaging poison move. It does get the poison gas on, on, Marf on Monferno now, but it is too late, my friend. Too damn late. Yeah, there's one more flame wheel. Actually, actually, doesn't even kill it, does it? Crit, please. It's a crit. Critical hit. Fog. Didn't even need it. Oh, the aftermath. Damn. Aftermath, I always forget about with these things and could totally kill some stuff if I was lower health. All right. Well, we're good, though. We, we, we're fine. We got through it without losing anybody, but that was actually kind of difficult. Trying to learn Whirlwind. Cat and Crunch? No. Why would you do this? Who told you that that would be a good idea? It wasn't me. Raising Brand to 23. All right, Commander Jupiter defeated. Bicycle guy is free. And why was why did they take the bike guy anyway? What was the what was the lore there? Well, aren't you tough? It's a, it's okay though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected uh, energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon with the power of mythical Pokemon. He will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. All right. Got my Clefairy back, and that's all thanks to you. That Team Galactic, they said, Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. <laughs> Their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from space. Yeah, they're freaking... They're freaking aliens. So we can stop by this dude's house, and he's going to be like, you know, you were so heroic back there that you could just have this bicycle, bro. Free of charge. Million dollar bicycle. It's all yours. What's up, guy? Man, you're lucky all your bikes didn't get stolen. You're gone for a while. What to do? Thanks for rescuing me. Can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. I got you. I got you. He's like, which one do you want? Oh, never mind. He's taking us out outside. I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which oh, we actually can't. Red or blue, red, yellow, or green. Oh man, this might be the toughest decision of the whole game so far. Oh god, I'm going blue. Yes, swag. Look at this absolute drip my guy's got. You want a blue bike? Yes, I go blue. Marvelous, you've chosen a, chosen a dignified blue. It almost seems like you can see the bubbles of Squirtle reflected in it. What? It's perfect for you. Why do you say Squirtle? So this is Sinnoh. Why would you say Piplup? All right, well, the latest model. It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift gears, it says. Third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it will be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride at full speed and climb up slopes. Your bike can take you through all sorts of towns, roads, and routes. Now get out there and ride. Pog. We're going riding, boys. Cool. Um, nice. The controls do seem kind of... Whoa! Oh, shit. We found... Wow! <laughs> In full speed, you are not controlling nothing. Man. Yeah, you definitely have to be... I mean, unless you're on like a straightaway. It's not bad. The controls aren't horrible. Not really ideal. Sick. Absolutely shredding. 